parents, well, we welcome you to Northside. Today, we'll be having our annual Title I and Family Engagement Meeting. We are here because the Every Student Succeeds Act, ESSA, requires that all Title I schools hold an annual meeting for their families in order to inform you about the program, explain the requirements of Title I, and explain your rights as parents. Today, we hope that you leave here with lots of information. We want you to know what a Title I school is. We want you to know about your rights. We want you to hear about our parent and family engagement policy, know what our school parent compact is, know a little bit about our curriculums that we use, hear about our e-plan, and know about our school-wide programs. Well, what is a Title I school? Back in 1965, Title I was passed under the Elementary and Secondary Education Act. It is the largest federal assistance program for our public schools. Title I schools receive extra funding or Title I dollars from the federal government. These funds are used to identify students experiencing academic difficulties and to provide assistance to help those students. Parents, you have lots of rights in a Title I school. First, of course, you have the right to know your child's level of achievement on test. You also have the opportunity to participate in meetings, to formulate suggestions, and to participate as a parent in Title I decision making. If you have any questions about your rights or what you can do as a parent in a Title I school, all you have to do is contact me through the school or an email. Title I funds are used to benefit our school. They can be used to create smaller class sizes, fund additional teachers or staff, help in purchasing training or development for teachers, increase the learning time through tutoring or summer school, and support our families and parents. Northside uses our Title I funds in this manner. Last year, we were allotted approximately 190,000 in Title I funding. We use the funding to supplement our learning through extended day, through tutoring and summer school. The funds also funded our instructional coach, Dr. Theus. They helped to purchase different materials, supplies, and programs, and supported all of our instruction. Our funds also helped in providing in-house professional development for teachers. We purchased lots of technology, laptops, smart boards, mobile carts, teacher computers, and we purchased tons of instructional supplies. A big part of our Title I program is the planning. We make one plan at the beginning of the year. It is called the E-Plan. This is our school improvement plan, and we use it to help map out how we will use our Title I funds. We prioritize goals and create strategies and action steps based on our most recent data. We do have parents and community stakeholders who participate in our preparation of our e-plan. We use some of our title money to help with parent and family engagement. Approximately 1% of our title funds must be set aside to work with family engagement. 
Last year, we set aside approximately $3,000 in this area. We used the funds to support our breakfast with Bridgman, which is our periodic parent meetings with the principal, our parent workshops, and any materials and supplies for our parents. We do have a parent and family engagement policy. You can find this online or you can call the school and receive a copy. We also have a school parent compact. The school parent compact is our written commitment with you, the parents. In that, you will find information about our curriculum and our process for instruction how we communicate with parents, our open door policy, and ways that you can volunteer and stay committed and connected to our school. You should have received a copy of our school parent compact with your student last week. Uh, they all received a copy during orientation. Northside follows the Tennessee academic standards. For curriculum, we use Learn Zillion in our ELA classes and Eureka Math for most of our math subjects. If you have questions about the academic standards that we use, you can find those online at the link included. Parents, a big part of high school is staying involved. There are many ways to stay connected with Northside. You can assist with the development of the e-plan. You can attend the Breakfast with Bridgman meetings. You can take part as a advisor for our CTE classes. You can work with the booster clubs, or you can just come by and volunteer. Things that you can do to assist, number one, encourage your students to do their best and to attend school regularly, even if it's virtually. Keep an eye on their grades and their schoolwork. Make sure you don't miss any events or parent meetings. Make sure you're part of any booster clubs, organizations that we have on campus. and make sure you check up on your guys. If you have any questions, you can always give us a call. Our phone number is uh, attached. You can also reach out to our school counselors, Ms. McCauley, Ms. Lanier, or Mrs. Smith. You can also follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, at Principal Bridge, and I also have a YouTube channel where we sub submit most of our daily announcements. We do appreciate you guys for being here today. We want you to remember our theme for the year, Time to Shine. We know that it is a tough time for a lot of folks, but there's no better time than the present to shine. All right, well, thank you uh, parents for participating in our, our Title I meeting. Uh, we're going to go into just the rest of our breakfast with Bridgman. I think I have everybody who is trying to log on connected. I have several of my staff uh, available. I have the counselors, uh, assistant principal, our instructional coach, and a representative in our SPED department uh, to try to assist in answering any questions that you may have. I see my lovely wife has also joined, so I have to be on my best behavior. See you in the corner. Uh, also, Brother Kerry. Uh, has gotten on board, so I appreciate you being here. Uh, and I have several parents that are on, uh, so uh, appreciate you kind of jumping on on this uh, first annual virtual uh, breakfast with Bridgman. Uh, hopefully, we don't have to do this always. I really enjoy having you guys come into the building. Most times, we have uh, some some light refreshments, some uh, some coffee and donuts, those kind of things. Um, so hopefully, you got your coffee this morning. Uh, maybe got you a pastry, stop by Starbucks, uh, and, and we could kind of have a chat together. So the purpose for today, 
Uh, we know there's a lot of questions or questions that are out there. Uh, we want to try to answer those. Uh, as you kind of think of your questions, if you have them, I ask that you kind of put that in chat. Uh, but as you are just contemplating, I want to just talk about this school year and just give you uh, my, my, I guess, opinion and my direction as school leadership. And uh, we will try to just answer questions as we go. Now, first off, we know that it is a challenge. Um, it is a challenge for you guys as parents. Uh, I'm in that boat. Uh, as I said, my wife's jumped on because I have uh, two daughters in the system and one is a senior here at Northside. And so if I wasn't committed, I have to be committed because my baby uh, has to have a good school year. And uh, we are committed to have a, a good school year, strong instruction. It just looks different and feels different. And so that is taking some getting used to from uh, myself, from you guys as parents, from our teachers, and probably most importantly, it is taking some getting used to, and they may not get used to it, the students. Uh, this is not what they signed up for. Uh, when we think about our seniors, uh, they've been looking forward to this year for 11 years. Uh, they've talked about what they're gonna do their senior year and how they're gonna go out and, and what they're gonna uh, be going into. And so this has definitely been a change of plans for them. So we have to make sure we keep them motivated and keep them uh, focused as we go through the year. But not just our seniors. You think about our freshman class. Uh, the freshmen have always heard about high school. They've come to ball games. They've heard from their older siblings, all the fun and exciting things that go on at, at high school level, good and bad. And so they are, are we're looking forward to that. And um, so for them, you know, this may be a time where they're not um, excited about the high school experience. So we need to keep them excited and motivated also. But uh, that takes a joint effort. We're doing the best we can. I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone. We're bringing in as much technology as possible. Uh, you guys should be receiving uh, daily announcements uh, from the school. Right now, they all are from me, but we're gonna start spreading that out and uh, hear it pretty soon. I've already told Miss Springfield to get ready. Uh, she's gonna have to do some of them and uh, we're gonna jump our, our counselors, get them involved. And ultimately, the goal is to get our students involved. I think that our students can, we can send the announcements to them. Uh, they can uh, put on a couple of week and I can post them uh, just to keep folks excited and to kind of keep that connection because the biggest concern, and I was just talking uh, earlier with Mr. Paisley, one of our crisis counselors, you know, the biggest concern is there are some students that we need to see and touch on a regular basis. And so we know we can't touch them right now. We can't reach out to them, but we definitely can try to see them. And so we need to do that as much as possible. So you will see us doing everything we can to keep our school culture going. Um, I think that I feel confident in saying that's probably our strongest suit at Northside we believe in your students and we believe in school culture. And so we're gonna try to do everything we can to keep that even in cyberspace. Instruction is important. Um, I've always said that that's probably the most important piece of high school. Uh, I say that, but I always have in the back of my mind, the next most important thing is safety. And so this year that hasn't changed, but safety looks different. Uh, we want parents to definitely encourage your students to be safe uh, in a pandemic. It's not so much about watching doors and making sure every, every exit is, is not blocked. You know, those are our normal things we talk about with safety and what to do when we have a fire drill. But now it's talking about how do you keep yourself healthy and what do you do? What decisions do you make to make sure that you are putting yourself in the best position to not contract uh, COVID and to not spread it to your peers. And so parents, we have to have your assistance on that. Uh, the district has moved and I'm excited that we are back playing sports. Uh, we had a big game last night. We had a big football game last week. We have senior night coming up this Friday, but it takes the full community to follow those COVID directives. Make sure you follow those CDC uh, guidelines. You're wearing your mask. You're not uh, congregating in large groups. And I know most of the grown people are following those, but we know young people, 
you have to stay on them and encourage them. So, you know, when your, your student is going out saying, hey, I'm going to go over to this uh, friend's house and we're going to play Xbox, well, just ask the question, well, how, how many people over there? You know, who, who's, who, who all is going to be there? And if it's, you know, 10, 20, 40, <laughs> let, let's keep them at home. Uh, and that will help the entire school and will help us continue a, a, our school year. So health is very important. When they come on campus, there's three things we're going to tell them every day. Uh, you got to wear your mask. That's not optional. Now, we understand that, there, that none of us can wear our mask 24 hours a day. Um, I have, I struggle with it. I was outside yesterday. It felt like it was 900 degrees and I had my mask on and I thought for sure that was it. Uh, so every now and then we got to take it off. We, we expect that. But if they're in close contact with other people, they need to wear it at all times. Uh, also, they got to watch the distance. We want to make sure we, we spread out. We get, you know, get some elbow space. We want to try to stay six feet apart if at all possible. And uh, we want to make sure that they are, are following good hygiene. So we have a lot of sanitizing stations set up in a building. Um, of course, we always have good soap and water. Uh, and we want, and if you can, give your child a small bottle of Germex and say, hey, every time you, you come in contact with somebody or a communal surface, you try to sanitize your hands. And the better we do that, uh, the better we can protect our environment. We can't handle the entire Jackson and so we can't do that, but we can take care of Northside. And so that's a, that's a tribe effort. But that's key this year. Our theme is time to shine. Uh, I told the students and I've talked to them, the staff, the point to that is, it's easy to do your best when things are going well. Uh, if I got everything rolling in my direction, everything I reach my hand out for, I'm able to grab, uh, then of course, uh, it's easy to be, be successful. It's easy to shine. It's a lot harder when life is not coming so easy, when we're in the middle of a pandemic, but it still is a necessity. We must do it. Uh, this is the only senior year they have. It's the only freshman year they have. And, and so we have to put everything into it. So I, I want you to encourage your students when they get a little bit down. And I have a student in my house that we have to talk to occasionally. Um, that, you know, this is starting to wear on them. I just have to encourage her and say, you know what, this is your senior year, it's what you make it. Uh, if you wanna ball up in a, in a corner and say, I just, I just quit, then that, that's what will happen. If you wanna go out every day and say, hey, I'm gonna follow what I can do and I'm gonna be as successful this year as I can be and I'm gonna be, take part in everything that I want to take part in, uh, that's will, that will be what happens. So we expect that for her and we expect that for all of our students, but we need parent support. Um, we ask that you be a little bit patient with us. Uh, it's, new, it's new for everybody. I, I'm tired of saying new normal because I seem like I have wore that out, but it is. We have to, we, we went to school our whole lives. We've had children in school and they've never been through what we're going through right now. And so be patient with our, our teachers and our staff. I assure you, even though students aren't here, we are working overtime. Uh, I know myself, I'm, I'm, I'm here seven to seven on the good days. Uh, and that's not, that's not anything that, that I'm bragging about, it's just the truth. And so if I would have told somebody two years ago, I'd have to work 12 hour days and I only have children in the building, they would have thought something's wrong. But that's what it's taken to try to push out instruction uh, this school year and our teachers are doing the same thing. So if for some reason, some days are not going well, uh, you, you, they can't get online and those kind of things. Just be assured we are doing the best we can to try to rectify those problems. All right, I want to just jump in. If we have any questions, uh, we'll try to answer those and I can kind of see some. Um, not sure about that. I hope, I hope everybody who joined in through the Evite link is able to participate. I'm looking at the Zoom I'm looking at my participants list and most people have microphone and video. Uh, I think it just may depend on the device that, that parents are using. All right, so uh, parents, if you, if you wanna put something in chat or if you just wanna jump on and ask a question, you can. And I also, I'm gonna open it up to uh, some of my other uh, leadership team to be able to share uh, if they would like to. But if you have a question, you can jump on at this time and, and ask them.
All right, as they're doing that, if we have someone trying to uh, go live, if I have any uh, administrators or counselors, if you'd like to offer anything to the parents, please do. I see one question. Um, question is uh, for Ms. Glenn, students who initially would be attending in person but aren't able to now signed up for devices. When will those devices be distributed? All right, good question. I knew we would have a question about devices. I was, I was surprised that wasn't up there before we even started the conversation. Um, we are giving out devices just as quickly as possible. Uh, we ended up getting a few extra and we pushed those out. Uh, so the moment we get uh, computers in, we will send them. Of course, if you had a student who signed up for in-person, you never put in that you needed the device, so that kind of put you at the back of the list. However, we, had, we have been going through the list and students who we know are in desperate need, we're trying to push them up to the top, even if they were in-person. So that's not meaning that all in-person students will get their device last. We've tried to make sure we, we identified any students who, are, who have an IEP, um, if they have uh, special ed services, we've tried to push them to the top because we know many of them, if they don't have the devices, uh, they're going to struggle. So we are doing the absolute best we can. I would also say, I think that there is conversation. Um, there has been nothing determined yet, but there is conversation uh, on getting students back in school uh, as quick as possible. So I, I do expect that there will be an opportunity for kids to start moving back in school gradually. And, and those students who chose uh, in person first will be uh, those students who will be coming back into the building initially. Uh, good question. Uh, are Northside student organizations, uh, groups, clubs meeting virtually? Uh, they are. Uh, we've talked with um, our, our club sponsors to start putting that in action. Uh, I know that uh, some groups have already had meetings. I know band had a wonderful virtual parent meeting that I took part in. I was uh, really excited. So it, it was probably one of the first groups that I could say uh, they really put on a nice meeting. And so part of the, the mindset of putting these on virtually was through band. Uh, I don't know that everybody has started because most teachers have just been inundated trying to get instruction out. Uh, but we definitely do expect all groups to be communicating with their students, um, either virtually or through conference calls. And some groups may even ask their students to come on campus. We can have students on campus in small groups. And so some groups may choose, uh, I know FCCLA has talked about it. Uh, some groups have may choose just to meet one afternoon uh, if they have a small group you know, they can come at one time or maybe split their group up. So please expect your groups to continue uh, meeting. Uh, Ms. Alby asked, uh, when will additional devices be available and when can I find out where we are in waiting? Um, I answered that a little bit earlier and I'll just be, as far as devices, we're kind of hamstrung on that. The, the district has a huge order out uh, I had talked with the district several weeks ago and they placed that order uh, for additional devices. The problem with that is every school district in America is ordering devices. Um, you know, that when our neighbor, I think they ordered 90 something thousand uh, devices in Shelby County. And so it's just a, a, a uh, glut in the, in the, amount of devices that are being asked for and, and they're not out there. So as soon as they come in, they're gonna get them in our hands and we will get them out to you. Uh, what I encourage parents to do is if your child, if you and everybody needs a device, but if you're in a, in a situation where your child is just at a, at a standstill, that we have two options, definitely let us know and we can get um, paper packets to them also, if you, you know your child is 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 gonna best learn using a device, and you're just at a at an impasse, if you let us know, we are working around and trying to hit the 
most need first. Uh, so there's really no, we do have the order of which the request came in. Uh, but again, we are trying to pluck folks off the list who we know are in our most dire need. I would like to be part, okay, uh, Ms. Tanisha said, I'd like to be part of an organization as a parent. Uh, awesome. Um, we unfortunately, and I don't know why, uh, a lot of the high schools just don't, we don't have a PTA or PTO uh, on campus. And I, and I believe the reason is, is because most of our really committed parents, those of you who really, really want to participate, kind of pull clubs and you're part of boosters and we have booster club presidents for all of our different organizations. And so I think it takes a lot of the uh, volunteerism and, and moves it into those pockets. Um, however, we are always in need of parents. I need parents on my Title I committee. We have site-based meetings uh, about three times a year. Uh, our CTE programs uh, have advisory committees that meet yearly. Um, I have parents that aren't part of any committee, but they just come up here and we just bounce ideas uh, off of each other uh, at times. Uh, typically, they're, they're throwing stuff at me and I'm taking those and trying to uh, use them as strong ideas, but uh, absolutely, we want you to stay committed. Uh, Ms. Nisha, if you would put your um, contact information, because I don't have your full name uh, listed on this uh, chat. If you put your contact information, we'll reach out to you and I'll get you, just see kind of where you want to, what you would like to do, and we'll get you involved. Uh, question was, in power school, is power school going to be the source of truth for grades and attendance. Uh, power school is our source of truth, absolutely. Uh, whatever's in power school is what we're gonna, is what we're gonna go by. Uh, what we ask is uh, just be patient with that because we actually um, are adjusting our attendance. Uh, the, the attendance secretary has to adjust it kind of weekly. The original attendance uh, will come from the teachers. So if I'm teaching a class, and I've done a virtual lesson today, and I didn't see Johnny, I'm gonna mark Johnny as absent. However, Johnny could have had technology issues. He may not even have a computer. Uh, he may have been getting on with his phone, but that died on him. Uh, so Johnny may turn his work in for that class on Friday. Well, if that's the case, then we're asking our uh, tennis secretary to go back and put Johnny in as present for that day, even though he was not visible on the computer. So we are working through that. Uh, as you look in power school and you look at attendance, if there's something that you see is not accurate, all you have to do is let us know. Uh, we're, we're operating with a lot of grace uh, this year. Uh, so we are gonna go from the stance of first assuming that the student is participating and until we have evidence that he's not, uh, we're gonna say he's present. As far as grades, yes, the, the grading, is primarily linked and uh, dependent on what's in power school. Our teachers are using Google Classroom and some are using team classes um, as kind of the housing for their lessons. And so they will have grades in those platforms, but those must be transferred into power school before they are accurate. Uh, since you have asked me that, I will try to send out to the teachers to make sure they're doing that uh, weekly um, I know it's and it would be hard for them to do it daily, but I will try to ask teachers to update their power school grades weekly uh, to help that. Uh, Ms. Turley, I got your contact, so I will definitely uh, reach out uh, to you. All right, in Title I, I'd, I'd love to have you as part of it. Anyone else with questions, and I, and I gave my... Uh, my leadership team opportunity, you guys too. I'd love for y'all to jump on if you have any comments uh, or, or questions for the group. I see Ms. Springfield is, is, is chimed up ready. Just wanna, um, well, welcome parents, first of all. Thank you for joining us uh, this morning. And to parents with seniors, just wanna let you all know that we will, have, we will offer the ACT here on campus on September the 22nd. Uh, students will come in to test and we will give you more information as time goes on. All right, thank you, Ms. Springfield. That is, and that is a big deal. Uh, parents, also I got information uh, yesterday, along with that test, 
uh, your all students will get a voucher for the December test. So uh, students, we always let our classes take the ACT twice. Uh, usually you take it your junior year and then you take it again your senior year in the fall. So you can at least have two uh, scores. Uh, this year, because of the change, uh, we still are given the fall test here on campus, uh, but we will give every senior a voucher for the December test. And since you guys are kind of in the know, you're on the breakfast with Bridgman, uh, one thing we'll tell you that we're working through and we just started yesterday, we're going to try to be a test site. So this December, uh, Northside will hopefully uh, be a test site for Jackson Madison County. Um, it, those of you who had your students take the ACT before, you know, uh, there's been no uh, Jackson Madison County schools that have offered the ACT on the Saturday test dates, at least recently in the last six, seven years. So we're going to try to be a site uh, this December because uh, there is going to be a huge amount of seniors taking that December test because every senior in the state uh, will receive that voucher. So we're going to try to be a site. So your students, once you guys get that voucher, look for Northside. And if you want to just take it at home uh, here again, uh, they can. Uh, but we'll, it will be open to any seniors throughout the area. Any counselors want to jump on? or Coach Brown, I think he was uh, live. Anything with SPED? Anybody else? Uh, any questions that anybody may have to add? All right. Well, if we don't have any questions, and I, um, I'm trying to keep checking the chat to make sure I'm not missing anybody. If we don't have any questions, I just want to end by saying, uh, and I think we're on, on track. I was shooting for one hour. Uh, and we were right there at it. Uh, actually, under it. Uh, we've only been about 35, 36 minutes, so we're, we're doing, doing well. So I want to say this, parents, I definitely don't want to waste your time. Uh, I do want you to, to feel like you have a connection to our school. We know it's hard to sometimes reach us uh, via telephone because I assure you it's not because we're not answering them. Uh, they ring continuously from about 7 o'clock till about 7 o'clock at night. Uh, and I know because they ring in my office. Uh, so we are trying. We are trying to reach out and communicate as much as possible. Uh, but as we go through the school year, if you – uh, feel like you're not able to get in touch with someone. Uh, we still have an open door policy. Doors open. All we ask is you just put your mask on when you come in it. Uh, but if you need to stop by, drop in to, to the school, uh, you can ask for me. Uh, my secretary knows that if a parent needs me, uh, she will come get me. Uh, if, if I'm not available, somebody will help you uh, while you're here. Uh, if you have issues and you get frustrated, I ask that you bring it to us first. Um, because if you go down there with Mr. Curry, what he's going to do is he's going to call me and say, I just sent a parent back to you for you to try to fix it. Uh, so, hey, bring it to us first. Now, if we can't, if we're not meeting the need and we don't solve it for you, absolutely. Uh, that's what central office is for, and they are there to help. Um, but give us the opportunity first. Uh, we usually will do everything we can if it's within reason. Uh, we hope to see you guys out this year. Got a lot of stuff going on. We still have sports going on. Uh, Friday, uh, we have our senior night. And uh, it takes the full community because these students didn't ask for this senior year, but it's, it, it is here. And it's their time to shine. And we're going to try to do everything we can to support them. So we want you to come out. Uh, we want you to be happy and be, feel like you're part of the tribe. We are a, we are a tribe. Um, sometimes, just like in your own family, we may have tribe members that get a little bit on our nerves uh, but that's okay. We're still family. And so we got to work through it. So if you get a little sideways with me, it's not personal. I apologize ahead of time. Uh, we're still part of the same tribe and we're going to fix it. And the next time will be better. And I'll say that for any of my teachers and any of my staff. Um, that's all we have this morning. Thank you for participating. Oh, Miss Springfield, go ahead. Mr. Bridgman, uh, you welcome them out Friday. Um, but we also have tickets for sale here on campus. And they can also purchase those tickets online if they would like to. Absolutely. Uh, so we're trying to make it uh, uh, you make it accessible for you. Uh, tickets go on, are on sale from nine to two every day, and that's for any home uh, activity we have. So we have volleyball, 
tickets. They're on sale. We take on Liberty. We're going to beat down Liberty tonight in volleyball. Uh, so you can come pay to, to watch that. Uh, we take on Bolivar in senior night this Friday. Uh, next week, we have soccer here at home. So it's a lot still going on at the Tribe. You push your students to get out here so they can participate because we want them to feel connected. Uh, I think that's all we have. Uh, Bro, Curry, you got anything you want to say? I'm surprised with that. <laughs> I really don't, actually. <laughs> um, I, enjoyed the, I enjoyed the meeting and, and uh, thankful to those parents who have joined us uh, and knowing that <clears throat> it takes all of us, especially during these uh, unprecedented times. And in order for us to make this experience uh, this school year, what it can be for those seniors and everyone else there, it's going to definitely take all of us. So again, I thank you, Mr. Bridgman, for this platform uh, and keeping your parents informed and big thank you to the parents that joined us. All right, well, we appreciate you, Mr. Curry. And uh, parents, if no one else has anything else, um, we will have another one. And since these are virtual, we'll try to have them a little more often uh, because I know there are things that will come up. And um, sometimes these platforms are just a good way to hear what's going on and to, and to know what's happening. You also will continue to get those daily announcements uh, from us. Uh, I've been going every day. Uh, the goal is we're gonna at least do three times a week and so as, as stuff starts going and it gets real busy, you can expect at least uh, three times a week. But right now we're shooting for every day. And so you can stay informed. And I do apologize if there's too many all calls or emails or voice messages. But I'm just from the camp of as an old elementary school teacher, I believe that you need to know what's happening in your school. If you trust us with your children, we're going to be transparent. We're going to tell you what's happening. We're going to try to let you know uh, the good and the bad, and so we're gonna we're gonna keep pushing that out. Uh, I appreciate you saying you you love the YouTube videos. That's a that's a whole another story. Uh, I got a nine year old producer at home that uh, my first video she called it trash, so it just broke my heart. <laughs> so we're we're trying to step it up. Uh, my my twelfth grader critiqued uh, my video yesterday, and she said I got to get out from behind this desk. This background is is not doing it. So uh, we're going we're gonna to try to get some stage uh, lights and some more stuff going so we can try to improve it. But uh, at the very least, we're going to get the word out to you and get information uh, to you. I, I think we had our Title I folks on. I know I saw Mr. Condor had jumped on, and our, we had uh, Ms. Smith, uh, Susie Smith, who also may have been on. So if, they, uh, if you guys need anything or want anything to say about Title I, uh, you are, have a second to do so. All right. You got, I'm sorry. In church, you're putting your finger up. Go ahead. Did you want to mention a breakfast? Our breakfast. Yes. You want to share with the parents? Uh, as far as our our um, breakfast and lunch breakfast. delivery. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I should say that. Yes, we have uh, two days a week, and I think it's Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, we are uh, serving lunch and breakfast on campus. Uh, we actually pick up at between 10 and 12, 30. Uh, you can come on campus and uh, you pick up your breakfast and lunch at the same time. And it's open to any student in the district. On Mondays, they receive two meals. So they'll get a meals for Monday and Tuesday. And on Wednesday, they receive three meals. So they'll get Wednesday, Thursday, Friday meals. So that Wednesday uh, bag that you get sent home uh, is pretty impressive. So if you have kids at the house eating you out of house and home, um, which we have two in our house, uh, and you know, if this one thing about this pandemic and quarantine, uh, while they're in the house, all they're doing is opening their refrigerator up. So if you have students doing that, uh, I would take part. Um, it is open to every uh, student and family in our district. Uh, it's good food. Um, I, I've been a little bit jealous because they won't feed the teachers. Uh, we've been, I keep circling around the cart when they're out there, but they never say, Mr. Bridgman, grab you one. Uh, so I don't think they're going to, but uh, definitely take part in that. Uh, I know that we are, I think most school sites, you can pick up uh, they, those meals, but definitely here at Northside. All right. Well, good job. Again, thank you guys. Make sure you keep reminding the kids, hey, don't get down. 
Uh, don't get upset. There's no better day than today, and there's no better time to shine. You guys have a great day.